Welcome back guys. In this episode, we will continue from where we left off in the previous video and we will create our API route where we can start doing the validations. Okay, so let me just quickly recap. So we have you know this entire view component. If we see there is this menu container which has you know, these two card components one is you know uh, showing me the menu group and the items and there's the second one which is the form so now what we will try to do is on this form submit we are getting this form data and we will try to make a ajax request save it to an api okay sorry save it through an api rather so first of all let's open up api.php and for now, we'll create post route and let's have the URL as item, okay, or rather item dot save slash save, sorry. And um, do you have any um, controllers to work with? Let's see, we have HTTP controllers and we have menu controllers, so yes, we can use menu controller at the red save menu item okay this is going to be our function and in here let's do the basic stuff request oops this is the wrong request um it should be illuminate http request yes so Initially, let us just return the request object with whatever we are sending to just confirm that you know the basic work is done. So return request has a method called all which will return me all the um, post parameters which I'll be sending from my Ajax call. So API dot php is done i don't think i'll need that i'll keep it here container we don't need and this form obviously we will need that so for those who don't understand the laravel bootstrap if you go to bootstrap.js we have window.axios being already required so um, there are two ways you can do it either you can import axios and then directly use axios dot post or what I will do is whatever comes by default with Laravel I'll use that for now window.axios.post our URL was menu slash items let's just confirm that so that we don't end up having okay so it's item.save so I told you um, okay and we'll need to send the data so why don't we do let post data equals this dot food okay i'll send this then i'll have a response so why don't we console.log right so we are Doing a console log when we get a success, I mean, when we get a response, this is the success part of it. Or if there is an, any error, which is, you know, any success or status code, which is not in the range of 200, we will be doing a catch and we will printing out the response. So basically it should work. Let's see. I'll refresh. My node watch is running. So uh, let's just have some random values and okay it says item save not found okay that's fine i think it's api slash because i have written it inside the api.php so now it should work right so i have a response back with these items which is fine um i think if if we now you know hit the 
controller and make any save request we should be able to get it into place but first of all let's do some validation so this validate okay so i have these three you know, validation rules added okay um, so basically my you know uh, menu controller is extending the controller which already has you know the validate method it should be inside validate requests okay so right now what we are going to do is we'll send the request and the second parameter is the rules what we are saying is category is required price is required and it should be a number and item is required i think it can be wrong let's quickly test that out now because this is an ajax request i don't need to refresh my page i can directly hit it says 500 internal error quickly check my log that's a strange behavior with my vs code it doesn't pick up the log files and the first instance and then it starts doing that um, hit i have an error validated number doesn't exist so i think it is numeric so let us try that i'll clear my log and hit save again okay now this is working obviously i don't have anything in my response and that's the reason you know, i'm facing this problem so we'll say something like post data equals this and return post data okay and if we now hit the save button we will get that now uh, the good thing about post data is if there is anything in the data uh, and on the post request which we don't want or um, basically what we are saying is whatever is being validated is only available in my post data and so later on i don't need to do uh, you know something like um, let's say if i am trying to save an item so item dot create and then in that uh, name will be let's say request input uh, item okay i don't want to i don't need to do that what i can easily do is because i have the post array i can directly do post data let's say name is item okay so just you know makes our life a little easy okay anyway so i'm doing the validation so that means if uh, i don't have anything in here i'll start getting a 422 error which is my validation error and i am ca i am able to catch that in my error uh, clause right so this is my error and i'm going to get data that says the given data was invalid and inside the errors i'll have every item with the error message right so i think both of the um, clauses are working now let me quickly make a change and have a 200 response now the thing is if we look at our database structure okay let me see if i have it open no opened it up and here is our database so we have menus okay and we have categories now categories are only based on restaurant ids right each restaurant can have different kinds of categories one can be chinese so it will have something else one can be uh, something you know very indian so punjabi and um, south indian we never know so what we are basically trying to say is when we are doing a save right we need the category uh, the category that is fine but it has to be unique for this uh, restaurant id and that and we need to check that so what happens let's say if a second restaurant which is restaurant id 2 has um, not veg noodles but only noodles right and 
we shouldn't create a menu item for that uh, with our category id because it will be wrong so we need a custom validator which will uh, first take the value and check against the restaurant id whether that particular category exists or not okay and uh, so yeah in the next video we are going to create a custom validator which will do the same and then we will look at saving our menu item so yeah, stay tuned guys and if you like the series and like the video so far do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel